Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lynn and this is my little rural homestead. Obviously today I am not at the house, I'm at Walmart. I am cleaning and organizing the house. So I'm reorganizing, freshening the bathroom and making a better space in the spare bedroom. So today I'm looking for a new vacuum cleaner. We have a vacuum cleaner. We ha Actually, we have two vacuum cleaners. I have a Shark vacuum cleaner that I purchased last year and I really like it. The only thing that I don't like about this vacuum cleaner is it does not have like hose attachments. So this is where the new vacuum comes in. My mom has a vacuum and hers does have hose attachments. However, the attachments... The attachments work, work, but the vacuum is not really working. It'll it'll run for a little bit, and then it just stops. I like for two or three minutes it runs and then it stops. And when you're vacuuming, it'll sp it'll vacuum up the dirt, but it spits it back like out behind it. So I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. So I'm gonna get a new vacuum, and then also because I'm redoing and freshening up the bathroom, I need to get some baskets that I want to put my cloth, you know, my washcloths in and different items in the bathroom like cleaning supplies and I just kind of want it make it, to make it look fresh. Yesterday I purchased one of those round out bars to go on top but when I put it up it didn't round out the way I wanted it to just because of the way our bathroom is made so I feel like I wasted $35.00. I'm just going to leave it like it is. It looks fine. Um, I'm just disappointed that it doesn't go out as far as what I thought it would. Because my whole idea was to make extra space or make it appear like the bathtub was bigger than what it really is. Because I have gone to hotels before and they do have those curved out um, shower rods. And it does really create much more space. But it just didn't work in our bathroom. So anyways, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to get all this stuff. Hopefully I'm going to find everything that I want. And then um, I also have to get my mom a couple of nightgowns. And then I'm going to go to the hospital, to the rehab center to see her this afternoon. So I've got that planned. And then I'm also going to make some exfoliation, exfoliator. I'm going to make some homemade exfoliator for my skin. I want to, I really want to start incorporating exfoliating my skin at least twice a week. Okay. Got the vacuum cleaner, I just got a dirt devil, and then I have three of these. So there's gonna be one on each shelf. I did not find the baskets that I wanted. Um, I want some like brown, I don't know, brown wicker baskets. I think I'll look at Goodwill. I'm gonna go to Goodwill and see if they have anything. I went to Goodwill yesterday. They didn't really have anything at Goodwill in the town that I live in, but I'm in Gaylord right now, and uh, this, <laughs> this was all I found, which is perfect for the bathroom, but then I have this white shelf that I want to put different things in there, such as washcloths and different miscellaneous things for the bathroom. So I'm going to look at Goodwill. I might go to Dollar Tree and see what they have. They haven't carried baskets in years at any of the Dollar Trees that I've been to. But I'm going to go ahead and go to Dollar Tree, go to Goodwill, and see if I can find anything that I need there. And then I'm going to go home. I have so much to do this afternoon before I go back to the rehab center. I did go to the rehab center this morning to visit my mom. Uh, but there are a couple of other things that I want to do this afternoon. I want to make some homemade exfoliation for my skin because I really want to try to get into the habit of exfoliating my skin at least twice a week and then also just taking Epsom salt baths a couple times a week as well so I'm just really the next two months I'm just gonna tr really try to hone in on those habits because I think they're really important so yeah that's what I have planned for this afternoon um, hopefully I'll get everything done that I want to accomplish today I just have a lot on my list I'll see you at home. I am checking in because I stopped at Goodwill and I found some baskets. I'm so excited. So these baskets were $3.99. I normally don't really like to shop at Goodwill these days 
but these baskets are absolutely perfect. I got this one, it's gonna go on the top shelf. And then this one, I'm thinking these baskets are normally, when you buy them from the store, they're over $20 for, and I got them for $3.99. So I got that one and this one. And then I also got this pitcher, which this is gonna go in the bathroom. Live, laugh, love, I like this. And then I got a bigger wicker basket. This one's huge. This one is gonna go in my bedroom. I have a small plastic basket in the bathroom and that one is for my dirty clothes. But I thought if I could keep this one in my bedroom and then just take out my dirty clothes. Then I also picked up a couple of books. Um, I got, this one is called Wild Wilderlore. The Accidental Apprentice. I think I might enjoy this one because I liked The Lord of Rings and it reminds me of that, like something magical. And then of course, I love historical romances. And this one is Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. So I got that one. Currently, I'm reading a book that I purchased in New York at the little bookstore. At the little bookstore. I don't remember the name of it. I'll link it in the description box somewhere. But I need to finish that one. I'm halfway through. And then I'll start this one. And then I also need to start a nonfiction book. I think what I might do for a nonfiction book is reread um, Atomic Habits. I really like that book. And I just want to work on habits for the next couple of months. So I'm going to reread that one. But now I'm actually really on my way home. And I will see you there. Good morning, friends. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, today's Wednesday. I have not picked up the camera since Sunday because I have been so frustrated. I lost a lot of footage from my trip to New York. I have footage, but it's not really enough footage to create a video. So my apologies. I wanted to share some of the scenery, which I think I might still do. I think I might just put together some pictures and clips. Well, not really clips, but just pictures and put music over it. That way you can see some of the beautiful scenery that I was able to see myself. But I am really frustrated that I did lose a lot of footage. I was having problems with my laptop. I was having problems with my phone. I had to reset my phone. I had to do something different with my laptop because my laptop just wouldn't let me log in. It was so frustrating. So anyways, what I wanted to share with you is Element. Um, I Before I went on my trip, I purchased some Element. These, this is electrolytes, and there are different flavors. It's Stay Salty, Drink Element. It's got all of your electrolytes in here. And I wanted to share all the flavors. Now, personally, I really like the watermelon the best. And these are new flavors. I had ordered two packages from Amazon and they sent me this sample package and there are so many different flavors that I have not even tried. So they have the watermelon, they have the unflavored, this would be good for, I don't know, to put in um, maybe your coffee, I guess. And then, okay, that one was watermelon. This one is grapefruit. I'm not really crazy about grapefruit flavor, so I'm not sure how I will like that one. Or the orange salt isn't too bad. This is mango chili, so a little bit spicy. I'm not really sure about spicy water. Uh, this one is orange salt. This one is citrus salt. And this one is chocolate salt. So I'm really excited to try the chocolate. Uh, the ingredients are really good ingredients, so clean ingredients. There are other brands of electrolytes. One is, I think one is just called salt and they do not use stevia. Uh, Element uses stevia. They use monk fruit. I was using monk fruit for a while, but it was just making my, you know, urine smell, TMI. But I just, I quit using it. I mean, I thought if it, it's that bad that it causes my urine to smell, then I'm not gonna be drinking it. So I will stick with the element. I have, I'm preparing this for the day, and what I do, I'm gonna do watermelon today. What I do is I fill this up, this holds 16 ounces of water, 
and I just do half and half. So then I have 32 ounces of salty water. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to drink this later. I'm just preparing it now because I'm going to take it up to the uh, rehab center when I go to visit my mom before I start my work day. And then I'm just going to drink my coffee and then I'll drink my element later. I just do half, half the package. And then I mix it up with my frother and then I'll drink the other half. I, I really like the watermelon. The watermelon is so good. And then I'm going to make my breakfast and I'll drink my coffee with my breakfast. I'm just going to have some cottage cheese, I think. I, I'm not sure what I want to have with my cottage cheese this morning. Uh, I think I'm going to put some fruit in it and cinnamon. But other than that, I want to have something else too. Okay, for breakfast, I decided I'm going to have a kind of like a stir fry. I have a serving of avocado, avocado, carbs, four, protein, none, fiber, three, fat, seven. So I have some avocado here, and then I'm going to add in four ounces of cooked uh, grass-fed ground beef. So actually, I'm going to add in my avocado first, and then I'm going to do a serving of mushrooms. What I do with my mushrooms is I bring them home, and I, I rinse them, and then I put them in the freezer in this jar. And I find they keep longer that way, because they're frozen, right? So I'm going to cook this up first, and then... I'll put my ground beef in because my ground beef is already cooked. And then I also, I do have some ghee in my pan. But I want to add in a little more mushrooms. Okay, because mushrooms are the one food, one of the foods, there's not very many that have vitamin D. So I'm going to heat this up and then I'll add in my burger. Also, I'm grabbing an apron because the grease splatters, and I do not want to ruin this shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts. I don't want to ruin it. This, let's see, hopefully I have, hopefully I have the camera facing the right way. My daughter, my oldest daughter, Mandy, made me this apron. It's, grab your balls, it's canning season. <laughs> I really like it, it's cute. So, I decided to cook the mushrooms and the avocado first because they were frozen. And I prepped chicken and ground beef the other day so I could just grab it and go. This makes life a lot easier that way. So I'm having, I'm going to have, I'm going to mix this up. I don't have any onions. I should probably prep some onions. Uh, but it's going to be kind of like a stir fry. And then maybe cottage cheese and cottage cheese and a fruit. So this is going to be two servings of vegetables and one serving of fruit just for breakfast. And total protein for the morning is going to be 40 grams, 40 grams of protein. So I have 20 grams from the ground beef and then 10 grams from my collagen peptides. Sorry, you can't see me too well. I have 10 grams of protein from the collagen peptides, and then I'll have 13 grams from my cottage cheese. And yeah, I definitely need to get to Costco to get some of the good culture cottage cheese because I had a serving of the cottage cheese yesterday, and it was so runny. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just cannot believe how runny this is. And... Once I had the good culture cottage cheese, I really don't like uh, the other brands. Starting to get spoiled, I think. Okay, I am just going to add some um, Ceylon cinnamon to my cottage cheese and my peaches. Not a big peach fan, but I love it with the cottage cheese. So this is my breakfast, and the total is 43 grams of protein.
Okay, friends, I am now at the rehab center. I brought my mom her clothes. I did her clothes last night. So I brought her clothes. I have my water. I'm just going to go in and visit my mom for about 30 minutes or so before I have to start my work day. I am going with my coworker to her family's house and then I actually might get a family of my own. Um, there is a referral in, so hopefully I'll get a family. <laughs> anyway, I have some things planned for today. I want to go to Dollar General. I'm still looking for baskets and organizing totes because I am reorganizing the bedroom, the spare bedroom. I'm reorganizing that. I'm trying to make it for, I'm trying, I'm trying to make the spare bedroom into a space that can be utilized for everything that I need it for. So I plan on giving myself all summer to do that. And for sure, I will show you the before and after. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the after. I've made quite a bit of progress already. So hopefully keeping my fingers crossed that I will get everything that I need. But I am looking for more baskets today. So I am going to Dollar General for that. But right now I'm gonna go in and visit my mom before my workday starts. It's later in the afternoon. I went to a visit with my coworker. I received a referral. My case is not going to start until Sunday. And for those of you who do not know, I am a social worker. I am not CPS. I work closely with CPS, but I am not a CPS worker. I'm a social worker and I have a degree in elementary education. I have taught uh, first grade before and most of my time has been spent with Head Start and in major child care centers. So at the child care centers, I was a director and I was an assistant director and I was a curriculum coordinator. So I've done all those things, but currently I have been working in social services. Uh, I just stopped because I do have to go to the office and I did not bring a lunch with me. So I just stopped at Burger King really quick and I ordered myself uh, an eight piece um, mozzarella fries so I could get in some protein this afternoon. I believe I had about 40 grams of protein with my meal this morning and I will for sure when I get home I'll have a nice healthy meal but for right now this is going to serve as my protein for the afternoon but I'm going to go to the office really quick. I have a couple of stops to make. I want to go to Dollar General and then I'm going to go home and then I'm going to do some more organizing. Okay, now this is impressive. This is the most organized I have ever seen a Dollar General. Amazing. I'm looking for baskets, something like this, like this big one. This would be perfect to put my crafts in. I need six of those or something like this. But they have to be able to fit on the shelf. How much are these? Um, let's see if I can get them on the floor. These ones are $10. I think those will fit on the shelf. Those are kind of cool. Those are nice. 10 of those would be 60 This is at the far end of our lot, and I have to clean this out. This is the most tedious project of all the projects that I have to do. I clean this out. I never get it the way I want. My dad had this so nice. It was so nice, but it, he was able to pay to have people do it. I'm doing it myself. <laughs> so it's... It always overgrows so much in the summer and then when I finally get it cleaned out it looks good but as you can see down here there's rocks there used to be fence on either side but the fence rotted out and we had to take the fence out um, I've got the deer in there there's some wood chips but this is the project that I have to complete <laughs> So I'm going to be working on this over the summer. Hopefully I'll get it all cleaned out and I'll show you when it's done. This bed was going to be my garlic bed. I did not get very far. Finished mowing the lawn today. I am going to call for estimates to get that tree removed. 
Um, I wish we could keep the tree. However, it is dying. It is diseased. There's all kinds of dead branches in there. And the other day, a windstorm came through. Three of the branches fell. I was so glad my mom's car was not in the way. Um, her car is actually in the garage. But just so much to do and I don't know how much it's gonna cost to remove this tree I may not you can see right there look at that dead branch right there that's one dead branch we've lost three like you can see the let me see right here right there it's just dead um, but yeah the tree is diseased it's it's just not it's not a viable tree um, garden right there I still have so much to do I decided this year I'm just I'm not going to worry about my fruits and vegetables as far as the garden goes I'll have mint I may have some tomatoes I doubt it I'll have strawberries I'll have chives I'll have mint um, I'll have zucchini and I think that's gonna be it as far as the garden goes I'm just gonna work on cleaning up the yard I have so much to do this is going to be my last meal of the day. I'm making kind of like a wrap. I'm just using some of these um, CR tape wraps. I like to use these because they're grain free. So no grains. They're made out of cassava flour, which cassava is a root plant, kind of like a potato. So I sprayed my pan with some grease or olive oil, not grease, <laughs> with some avocado, avocado oil. So I'm just going to put these in here, and then I'm going to add in about five ounces. I have about five ounces of shredded chicken left from what I prepped the other day. And then I'm going to put cheese and lettuce on top of this. So I'm going to have, it's just going to be kind of a, a, a wrap or a quesadilla, something more like a quesadilla probably. I'm using wraps, but it's gonna be like a quesadilla. And I'll have lettuce on this too. Okay, so that uses all my chicken up, so that means I need to make some more. All right, I'm gonna add some of this Frederick's um, Pepper Jack cheese. I'm just gonna add one slice. Okay, I flipped it. Looks nice and brown. Just the way I like it. I just need to cook that bottom shell a little bit more so it's nice and crisp. I love it when it's nice and crisp. And then I'm just going to take the pizza cutter and cut it in half. And I'll show you when it's plated up. Okay, there's my quesadilla. I have broccoli and cauliflower. This is two servings of vegetables. I have cheese and uh, butter lettuce in there and then over here on the side I have some spinach dip for my veggies. Bon appetit! Okay, as promised I am making my homemade exfoliation. I did have some Dr. Teal's um, Shea, is that Shea? S-H-E-A, Shea, Shea, sugar scrub. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I know you will correct me. But anyways, I got this. I had this one and then I had a coconut scrub. So I just cleaned the bottle off. Ideally, I would use a glass bottle, but I don't have one that's big enough. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm not sure what scent I want to use. I was thinking about tea tree, tea tree oil, because tea tree oil is so good for us. But then lavender would be really good if I'm taking a bath at night and using the exfoliator at night. However, what if I use it in the morning and I don't want to be sleepy during the day? So I'm thinking either tea tree or, well, here's tangerine. Tangerine would be good. What is this one? Peppermint. Peppermint mint would be good. Why do I have straw caps in my <laughs> essential oils? I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, this one is lemon. You know what? I think I'm just going to stick with the tea tree. I'm going to do the tea tree. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is add in my salt. I'm not sure how much salt to add in. I would use sugar, but my philosophy is what goes on your skin goes in your skin. So you don't need a whole lot. This is probably half a cup. So I have probably half a cup in here or maybe three quarters of a cup. I guess it got a little bit of moisture to it. So I'm just breaking up the larger clumps. And then I'm going to add in my tea tree oil. And I have, I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the office. And I'm just gonna, definitely smells like, whenever I smell tea tree oil, I think of Melaleuca because when I was married, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, uh, they sold Melaleuca and tea tree oil was a big part of the Melaleuca program. And that was long before there were shelves and shelves of essential oils out on the market. Okay. And I'm just going to add, I bought this coconut oil a long, long time ago. I'm going to put coconut oil in here. This is going to be my carrier oil. I'm just going to fill it up a little bit and then I'm going to mix it and then I'll fill it up some more. So I really want to try to start um, using exfoliation, like exfoliating my skin at least twice a week because I read that, you know, as we get older, the dead skin, the, the skin, the skin cells that don't fall off or whatever, the dead skin, that's what causes that crepey looking texture to your skin is because the skin is old and it hasn't been exfoliated. Okay, move this closer, I don't wanna spill it. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to continue filling this and mixing it, and then I'll show you when it's all mixed up. Okay, it's all mixed up and it turned out perfectly. I put some on my skin and it feels just like the uh, sugar scrub that I had initially bought. So I think, three quarters cup of um, my pink salt, my Himalayan pink salt worked. And then I poured in, I don't know how much tea tree oil I poured in, but I did pour in quite a bit. It smells between coconut oil and tea tree oil, but uh, this is definitely gonna work. On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. And especially if you made it this far, <laughs> I really appreciate you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.